hello and welcome to this video here we will see how you can uh, migrate a cPanel from one server to another um, sometimes uh, you may uh, wish to uh, move your site from one provider to another and the hosting is based on cPanel so in this case uh, you may need to move the files the emails and a lot of things exactly as it is on one server and if you would like to do it yourself um, you may end up downloading the file individual files and then restoring a lot of things so we would go through a simple process uh, that you can utilize to get this thing done in a very uh, short period of time so let's see how to do it uh, through cPanel uh, this is the site let's say a simple site which just host one domain and uh, it is hosted on a cPanel based server and uh, we just like to take it to a new server so we'll f the first step we need to do is to uh, go to the current cPanel Once logged in, uh, you can take a look at uh, the files and the database to get an idea of the overall structure. So, you just go to uh, the MySQL databases and the file manager. Two different tabs. So, we just have one database, 10 megabytes, and uh, here are the files. Uh, we could have uh, like uh, some other things, maybe uh, email addresses, a lot of things. So we'll just come to it step by step. Let's close it for now. Uh, we would go to the backup wizard option. And then um, we'll go to the backup. Here, the first thing we'll do is to get a local um, backup of the databases. This is ideal for a site which do not have dozens of database but uh, just a few, maybe one, two or a few manageable. Right, I just downloaded a copy of the database on my computer. I'll go back to the cPanel home and then again to the database wizard. I'll select full backup, that's important. And here, I'll just go to remote FTP server. I may or may not like to send a notification after the backup is complete. Now, we need to uh, provide the FTP detail of the source, I'm sorry, destination where the entire backup would be sent. And in this case, um, it could be an IP of the new uh, cPanel example this is the IP of the new cPanel and uh, it is different uh, not the same as the current server is hosted so you can just check it with your provider and ask for the the IP of the IP of the new like hosting account all right You need to put in the IP, then the cPanel username. cPanel username is, is important. I would recommend it. And then uh, port 21. Let's say I would like to take the backup at this location on the cPanel. So I'll just send a backup here. We'll wait for the confirmation. All right. When it when you see this window, it means that the login detail has been accepted and it's like taking a backup in the background. Now we would go and see the destination uh, cPanel. This was on the domain name, and I'll just go to this URL slash cPanel. So that is the destination where the news uh, where the site would be hosted now. So the name server has not been changed, and we're just accessing it through the IP. sign in and here is the newly uh, the destination cPanel so the theme is different uh, but overall like uh, hosting account um, I mean it's a blank kind of thing a blank hosting account which is ready to 
receive your uh, own service file. I'll just go to the file manager and select home directory here. Let's pick the hidden files as well. Now, on the destination server, the new server, I m navigated to the public HTML folder. And as you can see, whoops, this is not the right size, but uh, it just take a while to transfer the back, I mean, uh, files completely. As you can see, it's just increasing slowly. I mean, um, it's downloading the file from the old server. So it takes some time, and then uh, once it is downloaded, we would continue further. Okay, 500 MB has been copied from the destination server. So the size is fixed now. Um, and um, the next step we're going to do is uh, extract this copy of zip file on the destination server. So I'll just hit the extract button and then you can select any folder of your choice and will recommend to take off this file from public HTML directory and move it to some other above directories here. This process uh, may vary depending upon the size of your backup or size of your zip file. Okay, here we go. Alright, so the files, the entire cPanels files are here in public HTML in this directory. I'll just move it out of this folder now zip file is of no use anymore unless we unless we need to um, restore the files back so we'll see what all contents do we have here amazing bunch of files so these are uh, the files uh, which are hidden which are not displayed usually and uh, um, this is uh, the structure directory we need to look at so uh, what we are gonna do here is to select these files as you can see we have public HTML directory so this is the biggest landmark I would say just drag to the root and they are gone now we have overwritten all the cPanels file so uh, you will be able to see all the files and at this point of time you may need to make small amendments yourself to get the site working exactly for example the backup that we ex uh, extracted the zip file from the source it contains a lot of uh, directories we went to home directory for public HTML and other directories that we moved here uh, I'm looking for uh, this one MySQL so the site has one primary database this one so we'll have to get this imported uh, you can download this file and use the same backup uh, wizard to restore this database and then you'll be able to create the user manually and then assign it so this is the process of moving the files pretty quick from one server to another and then uh, you'll be able to restore the emails and everything in certain cases you may have to create the email account and then once the email account is created on the cPanel and then and then you can export the files and all the emails from the destin source would be copied to the destination server as well so this is how we can uh, migrate the files from one server to another and you may uh, then change the name server or try the host file to see how it works without changing the name server and if you uh, need any assistance or some um, guidance in moving a cPanel to another cPanel, feel f uh, free to send a comment and I'll be happy to reply to your questions. Thank you for watching.